everything is happening everywhere, let's boogie through the rundown to kick off Lancer Central. Multiple players hit major milestones this past week. Men's tennis ace Amadeo Blasco notched his 90th singles win to break the all-time record held by Nobu Tanaka. And both basketball teams also had a senior break 1,000 points. Jay Sean Smith cracked 1,000 against Charleston Southern in a win. And Dana Rouse notched her 1,000th point in a monster comeback win against UNC Asheville. Only five games left for men's hoops, and women's basketball has six left. Both teams are battling for a first-round home game or potentially even a first-round bye. Both tennis teams are off to a strong start. The men are 2-2 two two on the young season, and the women are 3-0 for a second straight year. Softball is on the road for the first month of the season after opening at the Elon Softball Classic. The Lancers went 2-2 two and, two and play their next 15 games at various locations in Florida. I'm jealous. Lacrosse dropped its season opener against A-10 Power Richmond, and the team flip-flops home and road games for its next five contests. Baseball opens up the season at home for three straight weekends, beginning with Purdue-Fort Wayne on Friday, February 14th. Whew. That's a lot to keep track of. Good thing LogwoodLancers.com has every game, every score, and every schedule to help you do just that. We've got some great stuff left in the show. We'll talk with Amadeo Blasco about breaking records in men's tennis. Then TJ Wingert and I team up for the top six. Special guest in studio today, Amadeo Blasco. Amadeo, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Awesome. So a lot to cover today. And well, we'll start with your coming off of breaking the all-time singles win record in program history with Longwood at 90. What does that mean for you to hold that record as well as we've talked in the past about cementing a legacy for yourself? Um, I think it's a good thing to have uh, for myself. It's like a, like a reward for all the hard work and all the time put in. But I think it's something good for the team and for the future to keep building a good uh, and strong program uh, so more players can come in and just keep building what I started and me and my teammates with coach. Sure, and as I mentioned, you have 90 singles wins, so there's a lot to pick from, but is there anyone that comes to mind that you'll never be able to forget? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, my freshman year, uh, you know, I was still a freshman, very young, uh, just left my parents, everything back home, and I came here, uh, just, and I started playing conference line one, and, uh, you know, it was a bit overwhelming for me, but, you know, Longwood never won a conference game before, and I clinched that match, and it was the first ever win for Longwood. And I finished with a passing shot, and I just threw my racket, and I saw my teammates coming to me and hugging me. It was special. It was against Liberty, right? So it yeah, makes it correct. even that much sweeter, right? Correct. So talking about your freshman year and then looking at where you are now, where do you feel you've improved? Um, I think I have improved as a player, you know, have a better understanding of the game and what I need to do at you know, specific times. And also outside of the court, like I've grown up, of course. I was very young when I came here and I was a, very, a bit immature. But now I think I've grown up and that, like, that growing outside of the court um, it's helped me to improve inside the court, like have a better understanding of the, my opponent and the, need, the things I need to do and be more composed. And to that point, as a student athlete, you have improved as an athlete, of course, but as a student, as a person, can you talk about where you see yourself as an improved individual? Uh, I think for the future, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but I would like to, to keep pursuing a tennis career, you know, try to, to go pro and, you know, have a future and see how that goes. And if not, that's why I'm here. I'm getting an education and uh, if anything goes wrong with uh, my tennis career, I just try to find a job and something I'm happy with. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. And then looking on the horizon for yourself as well as the rest of the program, what do you see in store for the team in the spring? I think the team has improved and uh, some good players have come in with uh, very specific skills and, and improvements I've brought to the team. Um, and I think the good things we did uh, the other years are going to keep uh, happening. And, you know, just our, we have a, a very strong culture and we really are working hard. And, uh, you know, I think the team chemistry is right there and we just need to go out there and, you know. Yeah, give it out. And you made mention of some of the newcomers. Anybody in specific you want to give a quick shout out to, or anybody who's really caught your eye and been really impressing? Uh, well, we have two new freshmen, and uh, you know they're very similar. They're a bit young, they're a bit immature, but you know they they knew what they they know what they need to work on, and we're trying to help them to get there as a team because you know this is not an individual sport here in America. So uh, not only half of the team can play, you know, it's just we need everyone to win. So. I think they're doing a very good job uh, and they have a lot of energy and they're very passionate about what they do and I think it's good. We, we're going we're gonna to have a strong team this year, I think. Awesome. Thank you for joining me, Amadeo. Thank you for having me. Next up, we will move into Lancer Central Top 6. Kicking things off, play number six. Well, Juan Munoz has been feasting all conference play, but here against Winthrop en route to 24, bucket and the foul. Plan number five, Kylie McMay, can you talk about feasting? 36, that's a D1 era record, and this one 
<laughs> That's just nasty in overtime. Plain ridiculous from McMakin. On to play number four. Munoz missing this shot. How about some hand-eye coordination from Cintron? Goes up, tough finish. Give him the whistle, too. And how do you beat that? Well, I think Leslie and Karyum, he's become a staple of the top six. Can you jump with him? No, no, you cannot. Defenders have got to learn. Don't jump with and carry you him. On to play number two, Deshaun Wade does his best Dwayne Wade impression. Step back, Bobby Jack in overtime to power pass Gardner Webb. And play number one, well, it's actually going to be two plays. Jay Sean Smith, not all points are created equal. That was for 1,000 points in his Longwood career, 23rd player ever to do that. And Dana Rouse, same thing against UNC Asheville, also a 1,000 point score in her Longwood career. Two terrific players throughout their program and their history here with Longwood. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Lancer Central for Sam Hoven and our entire Lancer Central production crew. My name's TJ Warren. Until next time, we are signing off.